Quienes somos? This is part one of learning Spanish conversation. So get out your notebooks and re be ready to take some good notes. Here we go. In Spanish conversation, we have formal and informal ways to address people. For example, if you were to meet the president or another important person, you probably wouldn't try to get their attention by shouting out, hey you. You would probably more likely say, excuse me sir, or excuse me ma'am. In English, we use the last name to show formality. For example, you would say Miss Baker or you would say Miss Hampton um, to, as, a, as a sign of respect, whereas the use of the first name only indicates informality and friendliness. For example, you wouldn't call me Ginger. You would say Miss Baker because that shows respect. In Spanish, there's also two ways of showing respect towards another person or group of people when addressing them directly. They are tú and usted. Tú is the informal way of addressing someone. You would use it when talking to friends, with family, with people your own age, children younger than you, or even with pets. Believe it or not, you would address them informally. The second way is usted, and you would use it with people you don't know, so strangers or people you're just now meeting, people older than you, people in positions of authority, for example, teachers, administrators, grandparents, you would all address them formally. So, it's your turn. Just based off of that information, which would you use with the following, to or usted? So number your paper one to nine in your notes and write down whether you would use to or usted for the following. Number one, your brother. Write down to or usted when addressing your brother. Number two, Coach Sowers, who's a dean at our school, would you use to o usted when talking to Coach Sowers? Number three, your best friend. How would you address your best friend? Would you use to o usted? Number four, your friend's mother. How would you come in and address her? Would you use the to form or would you use usted? Number five, your cat. How would you address your cat? To o usted. Number six, your pastor. When you come into church, what would you say to him? Would you use to or usted? Number seven, Miss Sapp. How would you address Miss Sapp? She's our principal at our school. So how would you address her? To or usted? Number eight, when talking to your doctor, how would you address him or her? And number nine, a store clerk. How would you address a store clerk when coming into their store? We'll go over your answers in class. But let's go ahead and get into the conversation part. To start off a conversation, you need a saludos or your greeting. We're going to talk about four different greetings. The first one is hola. So repite, hola. The second, is buenos dias, repite, buenos dias. It means good morning, and you would use it if you were talking to someone before noon. The next greeting is buenas tardes. This means good afternoon, repite, buenas tardes. And the last one is buenas noches, which you would use with good night or good evening, anytime after about 6 p.m. So repite, buenas noches. Now, please note that buenas noches is a greeting in Spanish. They say good night or good evening. It's not a farewell. Let's talk about your despedidas or your farewells. The first one you guys know of, it's adios. Repite, adios. It means goodbye. You have hasta luego. Repite, hasta luego, and it means I'll see you later. Notice that the H is silent, hasta luego. The third one is nos vemos. Nos vemos is kind of like we'll see you later. Nos vemos, repite, nos vemos. The one I use because my family is from Chile, we say chao when we say goodbye. Repite, chao. 
The next one is pretty popular. It's ya me voy. Ya me voy means I gotta go. See you later. Gotta go. Kind of all in one. <laughs> and the last one is hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Repite. Hasta mañana. And hasta mañana means I'll see you tomorrow. So those are your common farewells. So what are some typical questions that we use in conversation? I'm going to highlight three basic questions. The first question is, ¿Cómo estás? You use ¿Cómo estás? with informal. You would say ¿Cómo estás? If it was formal, you would say ¿Cómo está usted? So repite, ¿Cómo estás? And the next one, repite, ¿Cómo está usted? Muy bien. Ways to answer back for ¿Cómo estás? or ¿Cómo está usted? You would say, estoy bien. I'm good. Repite, estoy bien. Muy bien. You could say, estoy regular. Repite, estoy regular. It means, I'm normal, I'm not, like nothing new, basically. And the last one is, estoy más o menos. Repite, estoy más o menos. And that means like, eh, so-so, I'm okay. So you have, ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo está usted? Estoy bien, estoy regular, and estoy más o menos. The next question that we're going to talk about is, ¿Qué pasa? You have a bunch of stuff that means, what's up? So you have, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué tal? And que onda, for those of you that are Mexican or would like to travel to Mexico, a very popular one is que onda there. So, repite, que pasa? Repite, que tal? Repite, que onda? And some possible answers to that is nada mucho, which is like not much, not much is going on, but that's kind of like an English term. But it still translates. Or you could just greet them too and say, hola. The last question that we're going to talk about is, de donde eres? De donde eres? You would use that for someone that you just, that, I mean, that you know, that you're formal with. So, or someone your own age. So, repite. De donde eres? If you're using it with someone more formal, if you're talking to someone that's older than you or someone in a position of authority, you would say, ¿De dónde es? ¿De dónde es? Now, notice I'm not saying, ¿De dónde? Right? I'm saying, ¿De dónde es? It means, where are you from? Where are you from? They both translate to the same thing. Where are you from? And you could answer, ¿De dónde eres? Or, ¿De dónde es? With, Soy de, and then you name the, pl the place. For example, soy de Florida. Soy de Mexico. Soy de Texas. Soy de California. You could say soy de Tampa. All right, you just name your place. And that's saying I'm from. Or if I say de donde es Miguel. Where is Miguel from? You would say es de Mexico. Or es de Nueva York. You could say, he's from, and you tell me the place, es de. So that's how that works. So let's look at a quick sample conversation. All right, you have two guys talking here. They just met each other. One says, buenos días, señor. ¿Cómo está usted? Repite, buenos días, señor. ¿Cómo está usted? That means, good morning, mister. How are you? He replies back, Regular. ¿Y usted? So repite, Regular. ¿Y usted? That means, I'm good. The same. And you? How are you? He says, Más o menos. Repite, Más o menos. So he's saying, I'm so-so. I'm just okay. So, Using your knowledge of what you've learned and the notes that you've taken down, I'd like you to write a three to five line conversation between the following couples. I would like you to use different greetings and farewells for each set, as well as each conversation needs to include a question and an answer. 
So your first conversation is between a guy and a girl. You can name them whatever you'd like. Your second conversation is between two ladies. You can give them names if you'd like to as well. And the third conversation is between two males. Now, you could make it seem as if they've known each other for years. You can make it seem formal or informal. You can use whatever you want, be as creative as you want. Now, I would like you to write down something. There's three different ways of addressing someone as well that you might want to know. Of course, I used one in senor, right? Senor means mister. You also have senorita. And senorita means miss. It's an unmarried lady. And lastly, you have senora. And senora you would use with someone who is married as well. Or someone also that who's older. You could say senora. So those are three things I want you to think about. You're writing a three to five line dialogue between the three couples, and you need to include your question and your answer, as well as different greetings and farewells. Okay, chicos. Adios. Buena suerte.